This week's element is element 14, reviewing content. The desired effect is that students can recall and describe the previous content on which the new content is based. So as a teacher, what can I do to help students review content? The use of games is very effective. Uh, use review strategies within lessons, not just at the beginning of each day. Review important vocabulary in addition to content information. Also have students teach review segments. In addition to reviewing content, review the learning goals regularly. And ask review questions that require more than just a yes or no answer. Actually, um, this unit we just started learning, it's all about the universe, everything in the outer space, all matter and energy within it. That's basically what we just started, so. We've been learning just about like the constellations, and the moon, the stars, all that's in our universe, like the galaxies, the different things. Um, yeah, just like, just what's in our world. Um. Every day we start out with a, um, a science starter. It's basically a simple question that we've been reviewing or we've gone over, just, just jog our mind. That's basically what we start out with. Yeah, it just helps us remember, like keep us focusing on the main subjects and helps us learn and like it keeps us on the right track on the subjects we're learning. It helps us so we don't forget anything that we just learned. So when it kind of comes time for us to go, Oh, wait, now we have a test, so we figure out actually, we know what's going on. Like talking to a, a classmate next to me would be easier to talk to than going up all the way to a teacher. I mean, we can compare answers. It gives us another idea, like, it's not like, it's, it's not all of us, it's just you can have another idea, she can, you guys can both like argue about it to figure out the right answer. You could be totally wrong and she could have the right answer and she can explain to you why. Okay. Hi, my name is Tisha Dillon. I teach eighth grade science at Golf Middle School. In today's video, I will be covering element 14, reviewing content. Some of the things that you're about to see in my classroom, I always start out with a science starter to review the previous day's information. And we're also gonna do a little bit more in depth because we just started a new unit on the universe and I need to review with my students before we move on to stars. All right guys, um, before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at our learning goal for this unit. Remember that at the end of this unit, students will know and demonstrate that gravity and energy influence the formation of galaxies. That is our learning goal for this unit. Our science starter today is which things found in our solar system are larger than Earth, which are smaller than Earth. Yesterday, we began our new unit on the universe. We started talking about uh, the solar system. That's as far as we got. Before we go into stars, I'd like to go ahead and review. So please, quickly in your science starters, give me one thing that is larger than Earth, one thing that is smaller than Earth. Remember, Venus is Earth's really twin. Close, Venus is considered Earth's twin. So, someone tell me one thing that is larger than Earth. Seth? The sun. The sun. Anything else larger than Earth? Anything that is smaller than Earth. Haley? The dwarf planet. The dwarf planet? The moon? The moon? Some stars. Some stars? Mercury? 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 Merc
discussing the universe. Today we're going to do a review before we get started any further. If you could please quickly look at these five questions, jot down any ideas that come, and then we're going to discuss three briefly what is in our solar system. Four, how is the sun different from a planet? And then five, describe what kinds of things are in Now, um, over the next 60 seconds, if you will kindly turn to your table partner and discuss your answers, um, maybe see what they wrote down for their answers, what you have included, and try to get a different perspective. Your neighbor might have something different that you never thought of before. A minute. How many minutes are there in an hour? One month? Who made that? And got all the things that we could think okay, of. Okay, so you to, so combined, you thought about what kinds of things are in the universe, yeah. and you each put your part in. Yes. Okay. All right. Now that you've had a chance to work with your partner to maybe add to your um, answers that you provided, um, let's go ahead and go over this. What is the universe? What is the universe? Brianna. Space and all matter and energy. Space and all matter and energy. Evan. It's everything. Everything. The universe is everything. I think this element is very important for student learning. It allows the students to review what we covered the day before to bring to forefront some past knowledge. Um, it also allows them to give that opportunity to hear from other students that maybe have that ability to get a different viewpoint. And sometimes the students are so in depth or caught up in learning the information that they don't have a chance to really process it. So by reviewing, it allows them to process it, go a little bit deeper with the knowledge, and then build on that with our new content that we will be um, uh, incorporating. Sorry. 